HMOs Explained, UK Property Investing 101. Welcome to Momentum Property Education. My name is Daniel Wood. I'm one of the founders. And today we're going to talk about what an HMO is, how it works, and why people do it. So first off, what is an HMO? What does that mean? Well, the, the acronym HMO actually stands for House of Multiple Occupancy. Basically, it means a property with multiple people living in it, right? Multiple occupants, right? <laughs> so simple enough. Now, the difference versus a buy-to-let, where if you wanna know more about buy-to-lets, we created a separate video just last week about what is a buy-to-let. A buy-to-let has one tenant, meaning it can be, it's one person paying the rent, right? It can be a family, it can be a couple, it can be one individual, but it's one tenancy agreement. An HMO will have multiple tenants that are unrelated, that have separate tenancy agreements. So generally, we talk about three or more separate tenants. Now, why would you do that and how does it work? So let's look at this together. So let's imagine you have a two-story terraced house. All right. So here's the bottom floor where you have your kitchen, your living room, your lounge, your bathroom, and then the stairs to the second floor where you have a bathroom and then three more bedrooms. Now, depending on where you are in the country, obviously you'd rent this out for different amounts. Now, what I did was I took it as an average buy to let, you might get around 800 pounds per month for this. Very nice, very easy, you rent it out, hopefully the tenant stays there for years. Now, why would you turn this into an HMO? Well, when you turn it into an HMO, a lot of things happen. First, what you'll need to do is furnish the property because HMOs are furnished. You'll need to fireproof the property because this an HMO has you more similar to a hotel than a buy-to-let in the fire safety rules because there are multiple tenants there. So you got to have proper rules. You have to have enough bathrooms. In this case, we had two bathrooms, which is fine. So why would you do this? Well, the difference is now we can reach out, rent out each room separately. So on our second floor, we got three rooms rented out. On our bottom floor, we have a lounge, living room, and kitchen. What you can do is you can turn this lounge into a fourth bedroom. Depending on the size of the kitchen, and kitchen, you might be able to even turn the living room into a an extra bedroom just to increase your rent, but you know, that might be getting overly ambitious. You still want this to be a property where people actually want to live. So what we're looking at here is the potential for four bedrooms. Now, if you rent this out as four separate bedrooms, what could happen? Well, you might be able to get, you might actually be able to get a rent of around 450 pounds per room per month. So if we t calculate four rooms that way, that would be Four times 450 would be 1,800 pounds per month. So instead of making 800 pounds per month, you'd be making 1,800, which is obviously a big difference. But there are pros and cons to this. There are benefits and setbacks. So the big benefit is your higher rent, right? There's a higher rent that's coming in. Now that comes though with higher costs and higher turnover. But another positive value is that if you have a larger HMO, five, six, seven plus rooms, you can actually get a commercial valuation, which means instead of valuing this as a house, you value it as a business and you can get a, a you know, a X number of times, somewhere at seven, eight, nine, ten times your annual rent, which means you could get a much, much higher valuation. Now, when you make it, you when you do the HMO, obviously you need to furnish it. You need to, you know, put it. Make sure you have enough bathrooms, the fireproofing. So those costs are higher for making it. Often you're in negative equity when you set it up, but a lot of people feel that the higher rents offset that. The important thing when you're doing an HMO is to make sure you have your license. You need to have HMO license. Make sure you're up to code with the fire regulations. Make sure that it's a nice property. You don't want that turnover running away. Make sure you have a proper maintenance plan because a lot of HMO landlords, they'll buy a property, do it up, and then it'll deteriorate over 10 years 
finally it's uninhabitable and they have to redo the entire refurb. It's better to just maintain the property over those 10 years, putting aside some of your rent every month for it because you're getting a lot more rent, right? So take some of that and then make sure you maintain the property. It can go for decades and generate you a great high turnover over time. It'll build a reputation as a great place to live with a great landlord like yourself. So people will want to stay there. A downside as well to HMOs is that there are less lenders that are involved. Buy to let lenders are very, very numerous. There are less that lend to HMOs, but that should definitely not be a hindrance to you when getting a look at this strategy. So as always, pros and cons, but it's a great strategy. You get great rent, great valuations, therefore a higher return on investment often. Make sure you're doing your due diligence. You got the right partners that make sure your deals go well. Thank you so much for joining us. Please make sure you subscribe to Momentum Property Education because every week we have videos that go deeper and deeper into these subjects. This was a very high level, what is an HMO? We have videos that talk about the fire regulations, that talk about project management, that talk about how to find the right sourcing agents and partners, and of course, updates on the economy, what is going on. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of this. And of course, please like this video if it was valuable to you. And as a thank you, we have a partnership with Eden Reforestation Projects. And what we're gonna do is every time you click like on this or any of our other videos, we will plant a tree on your behalf. So please take the chance to click like, plant a tree together with Eden Reforestation Projects. And thank you again for being a part of Momentum Property Education. See you soon.